We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video and you are going to talk about it this morning so you made sure that a doctor was in the house this morning because i want to know why are some jamaicans so worried about monkeypox when they already look a certain way that's all i want to know it's always the people you ever notice ugly people always worry about pretty things now here comes monkeypox you want to respond or should we move on I think we should move on to the Thestros challenge. And I'm saying some of the spots look like acne and people walking yeah. around and them face bumpy bumpy like that. So fix it. So don't let you have listened to Isaac Buckingham, the twice convicted. Yeah, you know, those of you who have been tuning into the Jamaica Young Police Channel and have been an avid supporter and fan of, you know, what we are doing over here, would have listened to us. I've been a conversation with Isaac Buckingham for about three hours. Yes. And, you know, um, he was sent here by the PMP lgbtq plus criminal organization to destroy us and dismantle us because according to them is bright and according to them police are some big foot bigger people but you know when isaac buchanan and met upon yours truly he was shocked could not believe that um you know that yours truly superior to his intellect baby yeah baby iq because we really, because, and we expose him as a liar over here. And it's right there on the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Because they've sent him over here for him to, um, you know, to see if he could break us and expose us. In which, that you know, it was a conversation that, you know, it was done by the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. Because they have been trying so hard to recruit me. Because they were, because born and growing at the belly of the beast, I would be a, one of the best vessels to fool in the people where, I, where I'm from. The art of the belly of the beast, Jonestown Concrete Jungle. To tell them that yes, crime is the way and bride with the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. In which I'm telling them, no, I can't do that because only two of us from my age group is alive. And the reason why I could not do it in all good conscience is that I love each and every man. You understand? What they haven't done is to tell the people them, tell the youths them that education is paramount. And the bottom line is that being a criminal, let me tell you this. And I am speaking to all of the mothers, the fathers, aunt, brothers, sisters, cousins. You see the life, the lifestyle that you used to in a Jonestown concrete jungle, the other um, section them in a Jamaica, where you believe it's a crime, you know, um, that that when you feel that people fear you, you feel big and that is, not, that is not love in a people. Fear is not love. And that's why most of the time when you start, because when you commit crime, remember that you're hurting other people. So if you love yourself, you know, you won't do somebody, you won't hurt another person. So that's why I've been right through my life. Even as a youth growing up, I believe that treating people equally. You understand? And But if you, if you want to live like a pig, when I say pig, a hog, you can follow them. But if you want to live a life like yours truly, like me, Chris, born and born and growing like belly I beast. You choose a part like my life, education. Yeah. And if you want a fire gun, yeah, you pick up um, you become police or a soldier. So 
And le- as we say, you know, if you want to live like a pig, you pick up a life of crime because if a life of crime, man, you're going to end up live like a pig. Because pig, remember saying a pig live in a sty. Pig shit, eat, we piss, and do everything, hey, same place. Hey, so if you no want to live a life like that where you shit, piss, fart, and other people inside the other men come appear, man, you know, and you want that kind of lifestyle, let's think of that. So when a man said, boy, I'm not a problem for a prison, you know, I no ambition. So that's why we, that's why as a youth, a born and grow, in the ghetto, in the belly of the beast, nobody can tell me nothing about hard life. And no, at no time ever thinks about boy, I got me I got use. No, never from me a fool, I know some of the police. I know, so some, I, I know that some of you, um, from my, yeah, I know so some of you hate me, because I know some of you labor, right? I'll even, I'll even people who know me, I denounce me. I don't have no problem with that. I'm sure no said me not beg nobody anything. I mean no said my life is much better than the same people them will eat me. Cause enough of them will eat me. Them life not them life came compared to mine because them cannot go to places that I have been and where I can where I can go and allow. Cause them background speak volumes. Them involved in a criminality sometime in them life. So moving on. So yeah, so as you listen now, you listen to the guy with name Isaac Buchanan, that's a the twice convicted court dealer. And we do believe in a redemption, but when, you see redemption, redemption does come because a guy say, eh, this, that. You have to accept, say, you do things wrong and look here. You no matter how them try to sanitize Isaac Buchanan, Isaac Buchanan will always be known as a twice convicted court dealer. He no accept um, responsibility for his actions. And as we tell you before, and I say it again, you know, the biggest enemy to Jamaican people are educated people them. They are the ones that misleading the people. Who we are going to for guide the people them and steer them back? Because when you have a man like this now who's a twice convicted court dealer, um, he was allowed to practice law. Never said nothing, nothing like that yet in my life. You know, never lived to see that Jamaica. I see I, I saw it when I was a police officer becoming a, a criminal's paradise. That's why I kind of term you know, Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. And, and then I, when I told people that the PMP is not a political party, it's a criminal organization. For years, even on, when I was writing, you know, comment, um, commenting on the Jamaica Gleena, Star, Observer, TVG, CVM. But guess what? Most of the time, most of my comment them, you know, them, they, no, more, more, more. some of them, about 50% of them flag them. Because they want if you have a certain tone, they want to tell the people them a the truth. So, you understand? But, hey, ask me. When you come on to YouTube, me not, yeah, me not, me, me, I don't care. Me, I just say it. That's why enough people don't like me. I me not care. I mean, I do not for a guy like me. I don't get like me. Yeah, me just talking a real mama, papa, Jamaican people language. So you understand? Me know nobody like me. And you understand? And nobody can friend me. And if you say trip me, I'm a fool. Nobody mean like that. Nobody can pee right. I mean, I want a guy nothing. You understand? So. We see Isaac Buchanan now, so you hear him tell the black people them say them a monkey. Yeah man, June, uh, see you man, you know, yeah, I, we are going to show you a video for show you how black people are dummy, you know. And everything we tell you over here, so, you know, if you not learn anything at the wrong channel, we know so the goldfish them gone long time, we don't have a problem with that because we don't cater to get goldfish, goldfishes. So in life, self-respect is the cornerstone of how we, rep- how we present ourselves to the world. So if you don't respect yourself, if you allow yourself to be consumed by low self-esteem, self-hatred, greed, licky-licky, and a begging mentality, beggy-beggy, wanga gut, others will sense that vulnerability and treat you with disdain. And that's how Isaac Buchanan said right there. You have to give the guy when he a real man by his credit because he doesn't disrespect black people. To a two real admiral, you know, so you're going to Jamaica, you know. Remember them say Jamaica is homophobic. So if Jamaica is homophobic, Make that make sense to me, you have two rear admirals of a man in show at Jamaica where people watch and them know so them are rear admiral. And we are going to show you a video after we finish this part of the, the commentary because we are going in depth because you know, we want you to learn something about all of them kind of behavior, the monkey pox and the this and the that. And most of you don't even know, there's a thing called meningitis. Jamaica can even deal with that. Because if you if you know the real admiral thing and you there on Isaac Buchanan or Og Isaac Buchanan, there's thing that imit a fine body and if that go in a your nostril and go in your brain, you are dead foul. It's called meningitis. They're not gonna tell you that, you know. Because you have to understand say educated people them our biggest enemy as people of this world. Educated people, they are the one that hiding. We now have educated people. Educated people are honest, you know, like Dr. Bean. 
Yeah, man, the CMPMP criminal organization. Remember Dr. Carolyn Gooms, Ronnie Tweed cousin, or them try to um, destroy the man life up a you because I tell black people, you know. Dr. B, and I tell black people, say, hey, look here, two men are not supposed to a tango, you know, because you tango and I tell you, you know, the problem and all of them things. So, them people and I love black people, you know, but yet still, black people love them. PMP criminal organization people, them that, you know, Dr. B. Um, it all depends on the response and everything. We do a video to explain to you know the ones them where tune into the channel and I learn and and you know them them contact. We talk with them privately and them thing there and you know they encourage us to continue because they have learned so much. Cause them said them need night dark. Even a old man I say a old man. I when I call him name man, fear the big eight to three year old man. I cry. I tell him say touch my heart. When the man I cry, man I say boy. No, I don't want you to get me wrong, you know. Although it's, I tell you, say, from I have been doing this, I have never felt touched in other way. They're like, oh, that man, when I said the big man cry over the phone to me, you know, when me and him attack. Because the man, I tell me, say, he never did know, say, I saw Muta Baruka, wicked and lie. Because the man said, for years, you know, he have it, say, police, wicked, you know, with the coral gardens, massacre. And the man said, I enter him hear me. I tell the Jamaican people and the world about the police, they were dead. The man cried, the man. I tell the man, I have a big man, you know. The man could have been my father, you know. I have a hush the big 80 year old man on the phone, you know. And the man said, Boy, a God send a God send you come, you know. But why well, I don't know about that. Well, well, that's a true still because I am hey look here. True, a God really sent me here you know, because I'm supposed to be dead. The amount of time I'm supposed to be dead. I'm not talking about no, no 10, no 20, no 30 or 40. I hope I should have dead a long time. But a God, as where well, a man say, a God sent me come. So, that's why I'm, you know, me, you know, that's why maybe I'm the kind of person I am. You know. So, even with, like all, that gentleman I'm talking to, I'm not going to talk with him, live and him thing, but the man, the man, you know, me say, trust me, me say, me not, I, honestly, I know he might hear me kind of sound choke up because, if you know, say, as a young, this man, I could have been my father, and the man, I cry over a phone, and I say, I can't believe, say, I saw, Muta Baruch had a rasta, wicked, nobody, he never did know, say, police, the dead and all them things, and the man cried, and me, I tell the man, say, but them things that happen in time, you, uh, you know, them time, uh, you know, that was them time they, you know, you, you know, you, you know, your teens. The man said, boy, him, him, him say, them not really, them never eat have transistor really and them cut and them never read car glean and them thing and them never have no money for buying a glean and they had a paper them and they never have no radio. So them just, I with them, what they were told them go with. So I know that you have YouTube, him start learn some things and him say, boy, him owns the things where him learn from this channel. He said, oh, hi. He man said, hey, me I tell you a big man like that. He man said, supporter, if me, me wake up a man in time and I don't see nothing come up. Because that's what I do, you know, make sure I my grandpit in them, you know. He, upon the TV, me watch it in a bus. He man said, me say, if I do a pass, I you know, drop a video, you know. I don't feel good, you know. So, that's the man that I have him for my favorite and them things. You understand? Normally, I mean, you understand? The respect when I have fever and them things, I have him for my favorite. So, when he call me, I have no problem to get through. So, them things that we know, say, what, what we are doing, it's a touch lives. Because when I do this, you know, entertainment. Some people say, oh, I want to do it for no views either. So, moving on. So, it's a painful reality. So, we're back to the Isaac Buchanan thing. So, it's a painful reality, especially when I see my own people running into the arms of those who clearly have no respect for them. And this is a pattern we have seen too often, especially when it comes to political manipulation in Jamaica. So let me be direct. The People's National Party, LGBTQ+, which I refer to as the PMP, criminal, PMP LGBTQ+, criminal organization, has long exploited the ignorance and desperation of the people for their own gain. They understand all too well that illiter illiteracy can be a powerful tool in maintaining control. And this is why they are puzzled when they encounter someone like me, Christopher Porter. Or Chris Porter, or whatever you want, you understand. 
someone who has emerged from the same socio-economic background but has not fallen victim to their tactics and manipulation. So, as well, so the difference lies in the strength of parental guidance and the unwavering support from a community that valued education, integrity and personal growth. But these are values that have made me immune to deceitful strategies. They used to keep others oppressed and subservient. Now let's talk about the individual in question, Isaac Buchanan. In May 2022, during the height of the global monkeypox outbreak, the world was gripped by concern and black Jamaican community was particularly vigilant. Yeah, because a man did that clarin and he come from foreign and people say, I said, wait, him have monkeypox and call the authority and them grab him and so Isaac Buchanan did vex because the man a rear admiral. You understand? Yeah, they don't have me a pen clarinet. So people were on high alert, trying to protect themselves and their families from the virus that was spreading, especially within a specific groups. I would say a specific group, I thought the rear admiral people, them, like Isaac Buchanan and um, Raymond Price and all them guys, and the Damon Crawford and, yeah, and, and Philip Paul, well, all them guys, they are rear admiral them. Yeah, Peter Bunting. And all of them guys, like, yeah, some of them go both ways, but I'm still rear admiral. Even if a man go or a woman round there, rear admiral. So no matter what you want, say, boy, it's a girl. No, all the brother will name Q45, that elephant man, um, elephant man um, producer. Yeah, him, big rear admiral. So I'm holy for a holy for pitney mash up girl. Yeah, man, mash them up, them leak like sky juice. They a rear admiral, you know, and them laugh about it. And them feel that because a woman, them go around there, the man a rear, the rear admiral, them see me. Can you go right in and do the chamber? Yeah, you understand? So monkeypox, monkeypox, as health professionals explain, was, large, was transmitted largely through close physical contact, including sexual interactions among men who have sex with men, with other men, yeah. So as the disease spread, fear and awareness grew within the community and people were understandably anxious about its implications. So it was during this tense period that Isaac Buchanan showed his true colours, his complete disregard for concern for of his own people. In a public display that was both insensitive and revealing, Buchanan made statement that disrespected the black Jamaican community, dismissing their fears and showing a blatant indifference to their plight. Buchanan in Buchanan's attitude was a stark contrast to the more measured and respectful approach taken by Rear Admiral Raymond Price, who at least acknowledged the genuine fears and concern of the people with a level of empathy and understanding that a true leader should demonstrate. So now the two of them, them in a PMP criminal organization, you know, yeah, they, both of them. Yeah, you understand? Um, Raymond Price over there in Gregory Park with charge of badness and them a try to kill off a labor right them. And we, and that's how we find out say baby Trump and a Jamaican. So moving on. So while Price, while Raymond Price, you know, sought to address the issue with a sense of respect and responsibility towards the black Jamaican community, Isaac Buchanan took the opposite approach. He mocked their concern and belittled their worries, showing that he couldn't clear less about their suffering or fears about the virus. His behavior sent a clear message. He held no regard for the lives of well-being or dignity of the people he should have been standing up for. He dismissed their fears as if they were insignificant, as if their lives and health didn't matter. Buchanan's comment were not just isolated incident. It was just an isolated incident. They were were a reflection of a deeper issue within the mindset of those who exploit their own people vulnerabilities. When you, as a leader or a public figure, display this kind of blatant disregard for your own community, it shows a lack of respect, not only for them, but also for yourself. We so no anybody who expects a rear admiral to respect no himself, <laughs> you're, you're, you're a real dummy. Career real admiral can't respect himself because, oh, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, you feel I go round there or make a man go round there, you, you know? You, no man is supposed to go round there or you're not supposed to go round there. No, we never heard that. So is this Mrs. attitude towards the black Jamaican community during the monkeypox outbreak is a prime example of what happened when self-respect 
and accountability are missing in one's character. Buchanan behavior highlights a sad reality that many in position of influence still treat their own people with contempt, assuming that the masses are too ill-informed because they're too illiterate or too weak to demand better. So that's why the PMP criminal organization could have bring four criminal, convicted criminal upon the state and say, this is what we want to do. You know, yeah, when you commit crime, sell coke, go to prison and live in a G and live in a cell. Like pig, your shit eats, piss and everything in a same cell. And eat. I don't know what kind of, and how that life is, how that life. One man gravitate to a life that, that. Really, if you free, and when you go, you go to the bathroom, and you go to the toilet for it, do your thing. And you, when you, you inside this, and when you're done, you're free. And that, that the stench lick you. And you're not here, and you to come from. Imagine. Uh, 10 other people went inside for 12 hours and at that you are fight for glow. Figure out, you know, you know, you know, you know, self respect. You know, self respect. You know, you know, no ambition for one the kind of life there. For what? For people say you're bad. I'm not bad, you're bad. You're an idiot. Anything bad, no good. We are telling you that. Who want for, and, and any woman who wants a man to go to jail, and a woman who has no, no ambition either. That's why we don't deal with corals and coral bunkers and common people. So the reason why Isaac Buchanan, you know, and people like Isaac Buchanan treat the black, Jama the black Jamaicans them like that, especially the PMP criminal organization, they count on the fact that many are beaten down by circumstances, by low self-esteem, systemic poverty, lack of, lack of education, and socialized dependency. Beggy, beggy, licky, licky, wanga got anything. Woman living in a same house with them daughter and the man the daughter there with the same man who live in a house. And so them do it because the man will take care of them. In a Jamaica, 2024, yeah man. And vice and even, alright, mother and son live in a same house. Um, mother, the mother, um, niece, mother have pitney for fear, fear her son. So fear her son have pitney with him cousin mother. So fear him pitney now become the Cousin of the Pitney and a sibling of the Pitney. And them kind of dirty life there. PMP criminal, PMP LGBTQ plus um, family values that we are telling you. We don't know about labor, we tell you so we never live around them. So we can't tell you about freedom culture, we are telling you about our culture. You understand? So they believe that these conditions have created a population that is easy to manipulate, easy, easy to control, and easy to exploit. So that's why they disrespect them. If you any Jamaican you have any self self respect and you want a good life for your child and you swear them come on the other day at the national arena and a parade, peer convicted criminal and I tell you say, oh at them who want you look up to at them are the role model and you are gravitate towards them. You know not, you don't mean your child or your children no good. You're a failure already. Corals and coral bunkers. And because you are dumb it so what set me apart from others who come from similar background is the influence of strong parental guidance and a supportive community that instill in me the importance of self-respect, knowledge and standing up for what's, what is right. It's these foundations that give me the perspective to see through the empty uh, rhetoric, manipulation, tactics that others like Isaac Buchanan used to keep our people down. Buchanan's actions during the multi-pack scare were a disgrace, a clear demonstration of lack of respect for the black Jamaican community. His flippant attitude and disregard for the real fears of his people showed his true character. A man who cares more about his own status than the well-being of those around him. And for those who continue to elevate him as a leader or role model, understand this. Anyone who mocks the struggle of their own people, who belittles their concerns and dismisses their humanity, is not a leader. They are an enemy of progress, an enemy of the black race, an obstacle to the empowerment of our youth. Fire for the wicked. We must hold them accountable and demand leaders who genuinely respect and uplift their people, not those who exploit and demean them for personal gain. So. We are make you listen. We are make you see a video now. All the people them you know. Cause I go tell you over here say enough for you goldfish you know. You see all the people them now in a Portland. All them they are telling you know. 
he said, I, I, I go say I want to Isaac Buchanan. Real Admiral, yeah, pretend like bodyguard and them thing there. You understand? And all the people them, you know. You can see all the licky licky woman them, you know. All them are hug up the real admiral, you know. But yet on the world stage, the same PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization and them, you know. Um tell the world say Jamaican homophobic and watch. He's a real admiral this, you know. How much all them hug him up. You see him on this black people, you know. And we are going to educate you about the monkeypox because we tell you if you're not learning anything at the wrong channel. So nobody feel like goldfish them gone a long time. So this affair, the people that were, you know, were want knowledge. So you watch, you listen, you listen. Yeah, I see Isaac Buchanan. Yeah, man. Isaac Buchanan, all them treat him like royalty. Same black people, you know, him this and call them monkey. So you watch, you listen and you decide. So there's a disease named meningitis, but most Jamaican people don't. They might hear about it, but they don't even know because of Isaac Buchanan lifestyle. Just by hugging up, um, you know, things emit from his body. We go in your nostril, and then you go in your brain, and swell your brain and kill it. Near meningitis. Reason being is because Isaac Buchanan is a rear admiral, and I just saw it go on him thing. There. <laughs> you know, we are a scientist. We just tell you how it is. So. If you want to learn more about it, just type in meningitis. Everything is on YouTube. I'll do them try for control them, control the narrative on YouTube. Because you don't know a part of the devil's domain, you know. You understand? So we have to use the platform and use it wisely. Because them do everything, you know, for, all for contain information. And those of you who have been watching and seeing how YouTube have been changing. If you notice, one time you could go to someone's channel. And you could have played the video. Just play all. Yeah. So you hear all the latest them. You notice YouTube remove that. Reason being the kind of lose control of the message. Remember, you know. You see information, information powerful, you know. And their job is to really to destroy the people's mind. So you don't you don't know so more or less, you know, the reason why they have been doing that, them realize eh, the lies them, where them are promote, people now abide, people are gravitate towards the truth. So the way you know you control the truth is to limit all people. So people can't have that. That chance don't like if you want for just this one channel and you just play and you just play all. So you have to create a playlist for yourself. Or go to the playlist of your channel. You can't just play all of the thing one time. Them cut out that. But me know say most of you don't even see that. Right? You understand? When um, a few of my few people that subscribe to the Jamaica Young Police channel see that to us and say boy, you know say, you know, we we used to binge binge watch and all them things and we notice. After a video, it's a difference. It's a, a video where we're not even have no interest in. And we have to wait. What happened? They realize that they remove it. They remove YouTube, remove the play all. So, I just saw it go. So, we are continuing the journey. So, we are going to give you some educational facts about uh, monkey pox and make a video and all of these things. Because we tell you over here, it's an entertainment channel. So, you watch, you listen, and you decide. The PMP LGBTQ plus party is not hiding anymore. They are a criminal organization. As you look at your screen right now, you're looking at prominent international convicted coke dealer, Isaac Buchanan. Yes, he's a he's an elder state man in the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization. It's not a party anymore because I don't know how you can be using a convicted, a two-time convicted drug dealer, a mule, 
it's not like he was like you know like a top tier um drug, he, he was a mule and you're giving him um you're giving him um props in your political party so your political party is a criminal organization so the um the pmp lgbtq plus is gone criminal right now criminals party it's an organized it's a criminal organization today is july 15 2022 at about um 2 p.m my time i don't know what time it is where you are in the world if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet this is the perfect time to subscribe do not watch the numbers of views because youtube controls the algorithm and its numbers and they know to manipulate it you understand and i'm gonna sh and i'm going to show you how it is done by them if you are speaking the truth about the lgbtq plus community because you have to understand you know, if you're speaking the truth about the lgbtq plus com community they will do the necessary to hide the true views and subscribers and here's an example just look at politics watch right there and you will see you know youtube is a propaganda platform you know, that does not like when the truth is told to the world censorship participates and it's the American company, you know, that claims that they love transparency. But they censor people to in America, in America, you understand? So don't think it's only Russia, China, Iran, and, and, and Saudi Arabia and all those countries with autocratic leaders that censor things. Right here in America, they censor people, you understand what I'm saying? And they will use economic terrorism to destroy them. You understand? If you, if you um, talk... A certain um in a certain tone about about um the lgbtq plus community but as for me i i i am not a eater of no one as i used to work with a guy i who was straight up gay and i knew one i was the one who bring him back to the fold i don't care what any person want to do with their life if you want to sleep with horse dog cow fish whatever even a building that is your business not mine but you don't tell me what to do i have no problem with you you understand what i'm saying don't 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 tell me don't try to force me to accept your philosophy and to practice it because i am not into it you understand because it's the same thing now you know why um isaac buchanan the two the twice convicted coke dealer that's the reason why you know he's hell bent and call it hell bent and calling Jamaican people monkeys because of this um, LGBTQ plus disease that is going on around the world. But I have I have done I have done a commentary about it about a month ago. So this channel is not really about all the crime, you know. I'd like to inform and educate you know my audience. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know most people do not read, you know. Are people read? A lot of people read but they still listen to other people because if you only immerse yourself just in your world and just surround yourself with everything is just what you consume and you don't go outside of the box then you're gonna be left wandering about like a lost sheep you know so you have to immerse yourself in what is going on around you in the world to keep yourself abreast and i'm a person who loves to read so i read a lot to know what time it is so i wanted to listen to what this man you understand what I'm saying? What this man, you know, I, I, I don't know if you had watched it or learn about the, the convicting, the twice convicted international cocaine dealer, Isaac Buchanan, called the Jamaican black people monkey, in a covert and clandestine manner. You understand? He knew that a majority of, the Jam of them are illiterate, dunces, poor, and have low self esteem. At the Jamaica Young Police Channel, I cannot say if the convicted twice cocaine dealer Isaac Buchanan, who was a mule when he was arrested, so he's not a big time coke dealer, you know, he was a mule. You understand? I don't know if Isaac Buchanan is. Well, people people are going to talk about it this morning. So you made sure that the <laughs> doctor was in the house this morning. Because I want to know why are some Jamaicans so worried about monkeypox when they already look. A certain way that's all I want to know it's always the people you ever notice ugly people always worry about pretty things now here comes monkeypox you want to respond or should we move on 
think we should move on to the Thestros challenge. And I'm saying some of the spots look like acne on people yeah. walking around and then face bumpy bumpy like that. So fix it. So bro, let's have this to Isaac Buckingham, the twice convicted cocaine dealer statement calling black people in a subtle tone monkey. Do you think it is appropriate for a convicted drug dealer or a convicted coke dealer to be given a platform as a role model for the Jamaican youths to be on one of the nation television station? What kind of message is these peep is, is what kind of message is these elitists sending to our young men and women in Jamaica? Being a drug mule, being a drug mule is a career path that one must one must pursue. And if you are convicted as a drug mule, as a cocaine mule, you are treated as a celebrity, revered, celebrated, and given a post in the PMP LGBTQ plus party as a human rights lawyer. This man should not have nothing to do with that because he's supposed to have integrity you understand and you're supposed to you you you're supposed to be ab above reproach so anyway so he's calling black people uh monkey you know and said they should not be worried about monkey pox because every time they show it on the television you know they show it with the black skin but it's not really it's not black people it's really affecting you know a majority of the people is white people you understand white men that have been sex with other white men so i'm gonna show you it's not my word, you know. It's the American CDC agency word. That's majority of the people it's affecting are the LGBTQ plus community. So I want you to watch and listen carefully. You understand? This is school time. So let's stand by. For a lot of gay men. Carson considers himself one of the lucky ones. His partner got him one of the limited appointments for the monkeypox vaccine here in the city. I know two people personally, I haven't been in contact with them that have it, and they said it's just been absolute hell. Uncomfortable, painful fever, blisters, chills. The Central Harlem and Chelsea Sexual Health Clinics are the two sites in the city where some 6,000 doses will be administered. Wednesday, there was great frustration after the city's health department opened up the portal to register for the vaccine prematurely. Thursday morning, the city's health commissioner opened a news conference with an apology. Our vendor experienced technical glitches and New Yorkers have had to wait much longer than they should have. We got a look inside the clinic in Harlem. These are the monkeypox vaccines refrigerated inside the facility. All of the city's 6,000 monkeypox vaccines are currently spoken for. But at the news conference Thursday, Dr. Raj Punjabi with the White House's pandemic office says 144,000 more doses will be distributed nationwide, with many going to the city. And after that, we will be getting over 4 million doses over the next 12 months, and that will allow us to get vaccine we currently have out to communities today. Health officials say priority is being given to transgender, gay, bisexual, and men who have sex with men. While anyone can get monkeypox, city and state health officials say the majority of the nearly 120 confirmed cases are in the city's LGBTQ plus community. Anyone can get monkeypox. Uh, but in settings where people have close face-to-face, skin-to-skin contact, which includes having sex. I would say to the average New Yorker, this is not something you need to be waking up at night worried about. Nico explains why he got the vaccine. I think um, just that peace of mind, really not just for me, but for everybody else, because I think we don't want to, one, be targeted like as a gay community, like as spreading another disease, like in the 80s. Yeah, so as you have seen um, the you know um, the photos in the video and the, the people who are in the lines you know um, waiting to get their shots it's all it's this is men and and transgender that's you know um, men who think that they're women but they still have the penis you understand what I'm saying and yeah that, that's that's how it is they call them transgender that's man you know men who think that they are women and they dress and be like girl and they say that they're they are a man but they're in a woman's body you understand so these are the people that um this disease 
the monkeypox is really affecting the majority of them. It is not saying that heterosexual you know, cannot catch this disease, you understand? Because once you have sexual contact with somebody, even if you visit a hotel and you don't take your own sheet and stuff like that, you can catch it because if somebody have monkeypox and sleep on the sheet and they, they do not change that the hotel, you can catch monkeypox disease there. You understand? Because that's how it is. You know, it's, you know, um, in the form of close contact you have with it. It's very, very dangerous. And, you know, I'm going to let you hear a video, you know, um, of a man that they interview who caught it and he's telling you the things that he has been through. You understand? Now that you have listened to um, the twice convicted drug dealer, Isaac Buchanan, um, before, you know, calling black people monkey. Uh, if you look at the the um, the site of the the uh, these sores and and blisters and stuff like that, they look really horrible. But I know that some people they don't have the stomach to look at certain things. Eh? You understand? It's not everyone is made up the same as other people. You know, as I mean, I can look at anything because I was training that that way. So we don't know if I, you know, prison board Isaac Buchanan. You know, spent 12 years with the fishes in Jamaica, in prison, and America. Because only a man who loves to be in fishing, loves to be around fishes, you know, go to prison. Because when you go to prison, you know, most of these men, you know, who are in prison, you know, they just call it a day and you understand what I'm saying. And they just make a next man, they, you know, their bitch. You understand? So, I don't know if Isaac, when Isaac was there, if... He becomes um, one of these, you know, join the fish club. So, you know, now let's dissect the human rights title of the twice convicted cocaine dealer Isaac Buchanan. On God's earth, someone who was a drug mule, you understand, a, and a convicted court dealer is given the title of human rights attorney. In the PMP LGBTQ plus party, in which I do not see it as a party anymore. I see the PMP LGBTQ plus as a criminal organization. Majority of my friends and and some member of my family they are PMP LGBTQ plus supporters, especially the ones who cannot read and think for themselves. The low IQ ones, you understand? Our friends who their IQ are not low, but they are just ideologues, so they cannot differentiate between wrong and right because. They, um, things that they were against because their parties were there for it now. You understand? So, those people are, you know, they're like pretzels. They're easy to pop. You know, not even been in a pop. You understand? So, they're dangerous people. You know, pretzels. You understand what I'm saying? So, as to me, in good conscience, I could not be a part of the PMP LGBTQ plus party. Not that I am saying that I'm a part of the GLP LGBTQ plus party either. But at least the GLP LGBTQ plus party, um, they are not showing that they are arms up convicted criminals. Like the way the PMP is doing it and put them on platform and celebrate them and revere them and for kids to emulate them and get them job on, 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 on TV um, station. But that's how it is, you know, because, you know, Raymond Price, you know, Raymond Price, you know, he go both ways, you understand what I'm saying? And Mr. Price, you know, I... I as a detective, I know that for a fact. So, if you feel offended, I just say, no, you're not no wrong with that and them thing there. I only, but, you know, people being, uh, yeah, that, them thing there, I don't shame no more. No. There's no shame in this world no more. Or, you know, people understand that. Different world we live in. So, you know, so they're propping up this um, convicted drug dealer, you know. He spent almost a quarter of his life in prison, you know. So I'd like to ask Isaac Buchanan if Chief Justice Burnside, a PMP LGBTQ plus judge, if if Chief Justice Burnside, if he's a monkey, a fish, or a mandingo, you understand? Because you have to ask these questions, you know, Isaac Buchanan is very connected, you know. You know that he spent, Isaac Buchanan, the convicted uh, international drug dealer, he spent a quarter of his life in prison, you know, trying to put drugs on the street of the United States of America to destroy 
black people like black and brown people's life we know jamaica is a criminal's paradise and the pmp lgbtq plus party has no standards or shame none none whatsoever it is led by mark golden and peter bunting and they are destroying the very fabric of the party by showing the jamaican people that the pmp lgbtq plus party is no longer a political party but a criminal organization welcome all criminal all convicted criminal you understand when you have elevated normalized celebrate a twice convicted cocaine dealer you understand you know it's peter bunting is responsible for isaac buckle and position in the pmp lgbtq plus party you know? i remember you know, it you know, is peter bunting a monkey fish or a man bingo isaac after i ask you the question you know, because you know you're very powerful you know you have a lot of secret for all of the big people in, in the pmp lgbtq plus party even all the chief justice you understand it seems like or it is alleged that you have secret for all these people you understand what i'm saying the pmp is it's it's not it's not a political party anymore you understand it's a criminal organization that is seeking the support of criminals in jamaica and around the world so you know all the cocaine dealers from colombia and they can just go to jamaica now easy and you know spear producer and become a part of a pmp lgbtq plus criminal organization jamaican people if you want better for your country and its future you must own the jamaica the pmp lgbtq plus party which is a criminal organization accountable you have if you want no criminality no criminals in the government you have to make sure you start holding a political part both political party accountable isaac buchanan should not be any liar or officer of the courts in jamaica but he has secret for people who are up there who are involved in the cocaine trade you understand and benefiting from it Remember, it was Peter Bunting, you know, the same man when he was Minister of National Security, a man who was convicted for cocaine dealing you know, in America. He gave that man a license firearm, and police officers who have no criminal cannot get it when he was there. So, you see, when you're a criminal in Jamaica, you know, these people pop you up, you know, and they to revere you and treat you with respect. You understand? Well, you know, for decades, you know, the PMP LGBTQ plus criminal organization has been disrespecting black people, especially, you know, <laughs> um, because they know that them illiterate, licky licky wanga guts, so them keep them illiterate, encourage them in a life of crime for go live like pig. Yeah, man, because when you go to jail, you know, a pig, a, a pig lifestyle, that, you know, a hog lifestyle, you know, Ask wife can't tell if you have to go back to prison. I don't know no, any man who got prison and proud to go to prison and have no ambition. But now in Jamaica, they normalize criminality as a man. If you not go to prison, nobody has no respect for you. I don't want to go to prison, I don't want nobody to respect me. I don't go there. I don't know madness and them things. They are foolish, fool fool people. them. Because when you commit crime, you commit crime against a fe your fellow human being. And you must think of yourself in that light. Would you want somebody to violate your rights? But you want your rights to maintain, but you want to violate others. And that's where you guys and us differ, because we know you know that. You respect people's rights. So the saga of Isaac Buchanan behavior do, during the monkeypox outbreak and his interactions with Rear Admiral Raymond Price reveal much about his character and his lack of regard for the people. He should be advocating for, for Buchanan's life. Yeah, he should be yeah, Buchanan's life as exposed through this incident is marked by a troubling pattern of disrespect and a dismissive attitude toward the very community from which he yields. So Isaac Buchanan see himself as a Jamaican. You know? He see himself as a PMP. PMP you know, man, see himself as Jamaican. I tell you that as a youth. Eh? Born and grow in the belly of the beast. Them PMP, PMP supporters and activists, they see themselves as Jamaican. They have no patriotism. It's everything is all about the party. You understand it should have come like right now in America with the Republican them. The Republican them not see themselves as American, them see themselves as Republican and them side even with the enemy, just the power, Russia. And them normalize all of them things. Because you have some dummy people where them have this man when them look up to like some deity. This man when not even know for read him don't even know John 3 verse 16. Cause he never got a church in him life. Epitome of evil. 
You understand? But let me move on. You know, we we talk about that some other time. And we yeah, after we done this, we do a video about that Monday too. Yeah. So, what kind of like yeah, man? Expert, it ex, you know, it's exposing. Um, you know, and it's marked by a troubling pattern of disrespect and a dismissive attitude towards the very community from which he heals. His actions during this critical time of public health concern were not only disappointed but also a stark reminder of the disconnect that exists between some of those in position of influence and the everyday struggle of Jamaican people. So here was a moment where leadership was needed, where empathy, responsibility and a genuine connection to the community fears could have made a difference. Yet Buchanan's reaction was one of condensation. Yeah man, so you know Isaac Buchanan, you know, was you know condensation to him, you know, the, the way he addressed the matter. For sure that him have little you no know, compassion and him show contempt, revealing a man who revealing a man who seemingly lack the compassion necessary to truly serve his people. So how is a man like this? If you say them in reform, reform what? When you know a love for your own black people and you black. Not because you, you understand what I'm saying. You're black, you're, you're a rear admiral and long year are because you're not a Rasta. Because Rasta you know, not a dirty living. But we know say Muta Baruka is one of your biggest supporters. But we are going to remind the people that when Muta Baruka expose you, say, boy, you say, boy, I tell you. So we make the people they all hear that about you and them things. But Muta Baruka say, your mother, your sister, and all them things. And only for people come out and and we say it, you know, Muta Baruka said when you diss him. Yeah, when you diss him, why is that? But I saw it going on. When you're PMP and them things, you can't. Yeah, we see. How you mean? Because we see um, Vibes Cartel said, man, go try to kill Movada. We see Vibes Cartel come out and him yell him up. Movada have him own party. And Vibes Cartel and Adona, him mash up, call him bad man. And him come out and he, and him uh, big up um, Vibes Cartel. And all the people said, boy, I saw PMP, them stay, you know. Them not in memory, you know. Dummy them, you know. I mean, you know how I feel about a party and a man mash it up and then him come from prison and me and heal him up. You mad, me and him come to my friend and him try to send a man for you kill me. So Isaac Buchanan comments dismissing the black Jamaican community's concern about monkeypox were not just half and remarks. They were emblematic of a deeper issue. A man who prioritizes ego and personal agenda over the well-being of his own people. So I saw Buchanan and I see the same. The same dummy them you see around behind him when he go to Portland. They don't care one, him not care one iota about them. All he want them to vote and make him a twice convicted court dealer become a member of parliament. Don't be surprised if it's happening in Jamaica that. Anything, don't be surprised. Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. So when juxtaposed against Rear Admiral Raymond Price, who handled the situation with dignity? respect and sincere attempt to address the concerns of Jamaican people, Buchanan's shortcoming became glaring, obvious. Price's approach was one of understanding and professionalism, offering a stark contrast to Buchanan's tone, deaf disregard for the suffering of the black community. Raymond Price demonstrated that what it, it means to be a leader who respects his people, even in face of difficult circumstances while Isaac Buchanan words expose him as someone who cares about the plight of those who look to him for guidance so uh, him see man you know the barefoot rasta you know you know what I mean <laughs> um, the beef long hair Harry Muta Baruka a prop up and I say boy oh him a role model see man rear admiral that Muta Baruka tell all the youth them say oh go sell coke and bend back bend, bend forward Rasta man I do that. The man they are dread, the man they are not Rasta. Vile and wicked. Yeah man. As them say I love white people. You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> saying Angela Jean. Angela um Joel here. You know, take a picture with the man. <laughs> I show her picture and say, oh, this man, you know, my little <laughs> Yeah, same thing with Isaac Buckle and some black people. And that's it. Tell the people in my Hollywood say, this is my little one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know me at that way. <laughs> but Isaac Buckle and said black people look like. Why me I tell you, you, know, you say white people stay. Why just so it goes still? Yeah, so 
as we tell you, you know, so his dismissive, dismissive attitude towards his own community is not the behavior of someone who has learned from their past, who has truly rehabilitated, or who seek to make amends. Instead, it reveals a consistent pattern of self-interest, arrogance, and a troubling detachment from the values that should define true leadership. What is even more concerning is how Buchanan's behavior can mislead and demoralize the youth who look up to figures in position of influence when a person like Buchanan disrespects his own people. It sends a toxic message to the younger generation that such behavior is acceptable. And we burn fire upon them kind of people there. You understand that disregarding the well-being of your community is a part to success or power. This is why holding him accountable is not just about criticizing his past. It's about protecting the future of our youth from the corrosive influence of those who exploit their own people for personal gain. That's how a PMP criminal organization is all about. The same infrastructure when you grew up in Jonestown, from in SMT is still there. Them people, them life now improve. Them, I, I encourage people them to educate themselves. Them encourage them to kill each other. Go to jail and live like pig. Yeah, shit, shave, shit, shave, eat, piss, and sleep in I see him, see him, <laughs> see him cell with other men. And then you come out and say you're a bad man. Oh, is that something that you are work too hard for? You know, say you're not an idiot. And when me, I tell you, I say, I've never been to jail. I mean, I want to go there. Because jail, I'm not a jail of a pig. I'm going to pig alone when you live like in a sty. A man where you have shit in your cell. For 12 hours. And I know you are shit alone. Other people shit. Why you want why you are fight for your life that day? You know no ambition, man. You know no ambition. So I don't know how um, no make people are telling us to be like Isaac Buchanan and Butch Bantan and Courtney Samuels that are stammer. All stammer are rear admiral too. We have a we have an expose we have to upon him too. A clansman lead, gang leader where nobody in the team telling about and we are making a know. You understand? So Isaac Buchanan this day and, and you know his life has laid beer to in this incident. He's not just one of a reformed man or a compassionate leader, but someone who continues to undermine the very people he should be uplifting. His disdain for the concern of black Jamaican community during the monkeypox crisis alongside his indifference to their plight is a testament to his true um, priorities. He remained a man disconnected from the values of respect, accountability and empathy. Values that are essential to any genuine leader. In the end, this expose, expose on Isaac Buchanan, especially in light of his interaction with Rear Admiral Raymond Price, paints a vivid picture of a man who was not only failed to redeem himself from his past, but who actively disrespected the community he claims to represent. No his life story no one is one marked with lack of self-respect and disregard for others, making it clear that he's far from a role model. He stands as a cautionary tale of what happened when ambition is fueled by self-interest rather than a commitment to uplift and protect one's people. To anyone who view Isaac Buchanan as an example to follow. Let this be a wake-up call. We must demand more from those who claim to lead us. We must hold to higher standards the individuals who step into position of influence, expecting them to respect and serve their communities with integrity and humility. Isaac Buchanan's life, as revealed in this moment, serves as a stark reminder that respect must be earned and that those who choose to disrespect their own people should never be given a place in the hearts and mind of the youth. They are carelessly dismissed. Isaac Buchanan, is, as long as he lives, he will always be a twice convicted court dealer. And nothing can take with that. So no cure them fight and try this or that. Yeah, he's always a convicted, twice convicted court dealer. Who no respect black people and find a respect when we don't respect for you. In no matter how them try to sanitize him background and him reform, no, him not, him not, that's not enough, him not showing a form of rehabilitation or reform. I disrespect him, say that disrespect black people. Remember, say black people, he not try to sell drugs, you know. 
You understand? So, have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.